Okay, so in the last video, we put together our API using Python, and that included our sort of full Q&A stack, where we can begin asking questions and, and getting answers. So now what we're going to do is start working on the front end, which is going to be in Angular. Now, if you haven't used Angular before, that's fine. I'm really definitely not an expert, so, <laughs> so we can learn together. And if you haven't installed Angular before or will use it all, I assume if you haven't used it, you probably don't have it installed, then I'm going to link right at the top of this video description to a article or like a guide. I'll, I'll find one or if I can't find a good one, I'll, I'll just write one describing exactly what you need to do in order to get to this point that you can see on the screen now, which is the Node.js command prompt. And on Windows, you, you can also run this from command, from the command line or from your bash instance if you've installed everything properly. And I think it's it's pretty much the same. It's, it's probably a lot easier on Linux or Mac. So now that we're here, I'm going to switch across into the directory that I want to create the front end application. So I'm going to be using two different directories, one for the back end, one for the front end. And we're going to navigate into the directory that we want to put our front end directory. So it will be documents projects for me. And then here, I'm going to create a new directory called Aurelius front end. Now, I'm not going to do that the usual way with make that. Instead, what we're going to do is initialize our application, which will also initialize our directory using the Angular CLI. Now, anything Angular CLI begins with ng, which is just Angular. ng is sort of short for Angular. And what I want to do is create a new application. I'm going to call it Aurelius front end. And then we're going to get a load of questions here. I'm going to say yes to all of them. And then when it asks us what style sheet format we'd like to use, we're going to be using material, Angular material here. And if we want to later on modify the color theme with Angular Material, we really want to be using SCSS. So we'll just start straight away with that. And as well, SCSS, we can just write normal CSS and it will work as we as it normally would. So there's really nothing to lose. Okay, and that's just gonna print loads of stuff to the screen and hopefully tell us that everything's good. Okay, so that's all ready. So what I'm going to do now is head over to VS Code and open this directory. Okay, so now we're in VS Code, opened the new Aurelius front end directory. And first thing we want to do is open our terminal. And all I want to do is ng serve to make sure that everything is set up correctly. So this will initialize an instance of our app, which we can then open up in our browser. So it might take a little bit of time to first, first go. It should be pretty quick. Okay, it's cool. Now we go to our browser, localhost 4200, and we should get this. Yeah, so this is like the initial screen that you get with any Angular app. So that just means that, well, it, it, it's worked. So that's, that's good. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this down here to start initializing different parts of our app later on, we're not actually going to do that 
right now. Because the first thing I want to do is actually just get it set up and get angular material set up because angular material is going to be essentially our design of the entire app, which is really easy to use, but it can be really annoying if you don't set up the first thing. So I'm going to stop that and I'm going to add Angular material to our application. To do that, we do ng add Angular material. And this will install Angular material in our app and we, we don't really have to do anything. The only thing we actually have to do here, so we have to say which theme we'd like to use. I'm just going to go indigo pink. So these are the default colors that you can use. And I think we're probably going to change these later on anyway, but let's see. For now, at least we're going to stick with indigo pink. Here we say yes, yes, and play install. That's installed now. So if we head over to SRC app and app module TS. We should be able to see everything in here. So there are a couple of things that we installed just now, like extra things, uh, and that was the browser animations. And that's what you see here. Okay. Now, when we're using Angular Material, we tend to add another module. So Angular has all these different modules, and this is like the almost like a control panel for where we import things. So we import different packages into this script, and then that allows us to use it across all of our other web page files. And what we can do is create two of these scripts so that we have two versions of it. But one of them is just going to be used for our material, Angular material imports, which is anything to do with how our app looks and essentially works when we're clicking around. And the reason we do that is because it can just get really messy if you have everything in one. So to do that, we all we do is add material module TS. And because this is like a duplicate of this package, all I'll do is take that code and just modify it a little bit. So in here, we basically want to get rid of all of these imports except from ng module. And we can also get rid of declarations. So we just have imports. And we also want to add an exports array as well. So this is like whenever we import a certain module from material, Angular material. So things like buttons, menus, all these sort of things, we're going to import it at the top. And I'm going to show you how in just a moment. And then we're going to add it to the imports array here and also the exports array. And that will allow us to use it in the rest of our app. Now, the only thing we need to change here is modify this to be material module. And let's go ahead and import our first component, which is going to be mat button module. And we're importing that from at angular material. So this is the package that we installed before. And Kite is finding the, the right directory there. So it's material button. Okay, we'll copy this. And we remove these because we're not importing these in this file. We just add it to mat button module, and also the exports. Okay, so now we can use this module in the rest of our code. And this is a material button. So it's like a fancy looking button. So now let's exit that and 
go over to our app module TS. So this is like the mothership of all of our code. Everything goes through this, including that other module, even though it's like a duplicate. So to include that, we do what we've done here. So you, you see, we have this browser animations module. We're going to do is that same thing. We have it there. We also have it in this imports array. So to import that module that we just made. So if I have a look here, we see that it's called material module. So let's copy that send it over here because you see over here we're exporting it to the rest of the code so that means it can be read by this app module ts so import it and we do from and this will probably figure it out maybe maybe not material uh, material module there okay so that is now imported that into this script and what we want to do is include it in the import array there now it's accessible by the rest of our code. So that's, I know it's quite a lot, but that's material basically set up. And just so we can see that it's actually working, let's just add a, that material button into the very front page of this app. So the very front page of this app is app component HTML. So you saw before we had that kind of fancy initial page where it gave us a few hints on what we should do next. And that is everything that you see in here. So we're going to just select all and delete this. And all I want to add in here is a button and it's a material button. So map button like this. And we're gonna put search. Okay, now if we go back into our browser, let's make sure it's, I don't think it's running. I think we have to restart, yeah. So ng serve again, spin up the server. If we head over, so this should go in a moment and we'll just get a button in the top left. Okay, so now we have our button and you see we get this kind of nice little we go over it, it gets highlighted, and when we click it, we have that nice ripple effect. So that's our material button. And I think that's it for this first video on the front end. So we've initialized our front end and also included material or angular material in there as well. Now, from now on, it's I think we will probably just build how this front page looks a little bit to make it look kind of nice. And then we won't go crazy, by the way, we'll just make it look bearable. And then we'll add in the functionality so that we can search on here rather than through the API. So it should be pretty cool, I think. So that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.